Hello and welcome to my channel Coding Savvy. In this video, I will tell you that I am starting a video series on how to implement basic app locker in Android Studio. So this is the first video of this series. Okay. So in this series the topic so sorry sorry so the topic of the video is has three parts part number one I will tell you that what is the scope and what is the functionality of the basic app locker that we are implementing part number two the part number two of the topic of video is i will tell you that what knowledge you must know before implementing such kind of app i mean basic app lock uh, part number three of the topic of this video is i will tell you that how I will implement the basic app locker. I will tell you the logic of the basic app locker. So these are the three part of the topic of our video and we will discuss on it. Now let's talk on that what will be the functionality of the app locker. Well the app locker app application will have three uh, basic functionalities and that is first it will show all the installed application in a, in a list for any android device uh, so that we can decide that which other application we want to protect with a password or we want not okay the second functionality is to create a database system we will use sqlite database and where we will save a password uh, and we will save the package name of other application now you will be confused here that what is package name well package name is the identity of any application in the android and it is unique that no two application will have one and same uh, package name this, this is not possible so it is unique and due to this we will use package name to lock and unlock the application and this is accurate way okay the last and the third functionality of the app docker is is to create a function of locking other application with a password and unlock the other application so these are the three basic functionality that we will be creating in this video series for app locker in android studio now what knowledge you must know before implementing the app locker in android studio so there are four things you must know before implementing the app locker in android studio and if uh, before continuing it i am giving you some warning here that if you are confused at this point because these four things require proper detail knowledge and I am not explaining it in detail I am just uh, telling you that these are the four things and I will tell you the meaning so you will be confused at this point maybe you are confused so don't worry I will explain it in detail in upcoming videos I will implement it practically so you will be 
uh, not, you will be not confused. Everything you will be uh, crystal clear. Okay. So just give it some time. So these four things are usage, state, services. Number one. So these are the services that Google Android provides you, and with that you can track and monitor the currently running application in Android Studio. For example, if I open Facebook, so with the help of these services, uh, in my in my application, I can detect that Facebook is currently running. And if I open YouTube. So in my application, I am using these state uh, services and with that I can detect now YouTube is now running. So with this service, I can detect that which currently app is running. So why we will use such type of service, you will get the answer of this question in the next videos. Okay. The number two uh, thing is the background services. The background services basically it, it uh, don't have any user interface, and with background services you can execute the part of code in the background, which will be independent of uh, your application and independent of any user interface. So when your application is destroyed. So that set of code will not be adapted, it will be still running in the background in the Android system and it will be destroyed when the task of that code is complete. For example, let me explain it with example. For example, if I have an application XYZ and where I just download a file in the background with the help of background service and suppose suddenly my application is destroyed so the downloading file uh, operation and task will not be affected because that is executing in the background once the file is downloaded so it will automatically be destroyed from the background okay so this is simple explanation of background service the number three is the broadcast receiver the broadcast receiver is basically it is the uh, Android component, and with that, you can perform any task you want. Then, a specific event is performed on your phone. For example, in simple words, if I restart a phone, so this is the event performed on your phone. So, restart is an event, and with this event, I can execute any type of task I want, like I want to recreate my background service when I restart a phone. So I can do that with the help of broadcast receiver. So okay, number four. Number four is the SQLite database because I need a storage system where I can save password and package name of other applications so I can lock and unlock them with the help of package name. So these are the four things you must know before implementing the app logger. Now let's move to next part. Now let's talk about how I will implement the app logger. What is my logic behind creating the app logger? Well, my logic is simple and that is well, first of all, I will create a database system with the help of SQLite database and with that I will save password and I will save package name of other application, uh, other application which I want to log with password and store it in the database and then I will create a infinite background service which will be non-stop and if the background service is destroyed accidentally by Android system so with the help of broadcast receiver I will recreate them so in the final or in the simple words my background service will run continuously non-stop 
so in the background service i will uh, drag or i will uh, look for which currently app is running with the help of usage state service and i will get the package name of that currently running app so i will then compare the currently running app package name with the database and if that package name is found in the database so it means it has to be locked with password so i will uh, lock it with password if user enter a correct password so then the then i will give the access to that application so this is simple logic and with that logic i will create a app logger in android studio so that's it and see you in next video and uh, i hope you will like this series so please subscribe my channel and like and comment on this video and also share it and subscribe is must and also click on the notification icon so these are something you need to do because you have to support me and in return i will create more videos and more videos and that it will help you and subscribing and subscribing my channel will also help you thank you and see you in next video